hello everyone this is our eighth video in our cookie consent video series and in this video i will discuss about server side tagging and cookie consent setup if you didn't watch my previous video i highly recommend to watch the previous videos first to understand this video and to demonstrate this video i have taken to gtm this one is server gtm and this is the server side preview and this is my browser side gtm and this is the preview for browser side as well as this one is my website but uh, in our last setup we control our tag actually we control our tag firing using whether we have consent or not but if we think about server side tagging uh, then that implementation there is a problem what is the problem if i switch back to my slide you see that for browser side tagging it is perfectly fine for example when a visitor give consent for analytics storage when a visitor does not give a consent for uh, analytics storage it is denied but when add storage uh, is allowed that case it is perfectly fine uh, fine all gfo related tag will not be fired but other tag will be fired and for browser side actually everything sent from the browser gtm so this case when gtm tag is blocked it doesn't matter but the other other channel is active and if our settings is like this analytics storage denied but add storage allow this case any analytics related tag gfo tag will not be fired for our uh, for our setup but others platform like facebook tiktok or any other platform or google ad tag also should be fired perfectly because everything is sending from gtm but if we go to our server side tagging it is something like this if you see that in the server side tagging gtm actually from gtm gfo tag actually work for sending data in our server and in the server gfo client accept those data and then server side here is the tagging to send different tracking channel so what is the problem here for example if someone does not give consent for analytics data then it will be something like this you see that this case analytics storage is denied and add storage is allowed and for this setup when we when the analytics storage is denied that case actually we are blocking gfo text but when we are blocking gfo tags actually we are blocking to sending data in our server because in server side tagging actually gfo is working as a helper of gfo client to sending data to send data in browser so in this structure when analytics storage is denied we are blocking gfo but here add storage is allowed but when this is block any data is not going to server that cases we are not able to send data for facebook tiktok and others marketing platform but they should send data because analytics storage deny but ad related storage or ad related tag is not denied so when this is the setup that case actually actually everything will be blocked so we are not able to actually control our gfo tag firing in our browser site so we need to send something so that when its structure is like this so that we can block tag for our gfo but we are able to send information in our marketing related tag in our server site to do that uh, actually we need a another setup so i am going back to my google tag manager and if we come here and if we click anywhere maybe you can remember our previous video i have shown a i have shown a parameter the parameter is gcs parameter and we can say using this gcs parameter whether we have consent and what is our consent status so if we like to 
align our setting with server side tagging that case actually we need to send something so i'm going back to my google analytics this is the browser side analytics from here we just need to select all the zfo tag this way and actually we need to click this icon and from here we need to select all all zfo tag this way but google ads is perfectly fine we don't need to choose this but we don't don't want to block gfo tag from our browser side you see that current setup is additional consent required for tag firing so we like to remove this thing so i am i i like to change it as no additional consent required or we can say set it not set maybe not set is perfectly fine or we can choose this one just i am keeping not no additional consent required for now and i can save it and right now every tag will every tag related to g4 will be fired whether we have consent uh, available or not if we preview this again and if i clear everything from here as well as if i clear the cookie consent cookie and then right now we don't have any consent and if we reload the page because of changing our current setup uh, we should see all of the gfo related tag uh, is we, we see the gfo tag is firing without any uh, blocking as well as it will happen for others internal pages pages whether we have consent or not but right now we don't have consent and if we check our server side page view we see that our setting is like this we know that this one is actually default and the next zero when this is zero that means we don't have consent for ad related tag and when this is zero we don't have consent for analytics related tag and when we have this one is one that means we have consent for ad storage and when this one is one we have consent for analytics storage maybe you can remember this thing from previous video so we need to create another variable here to control our tags using those parameters for example right now we don't have any consent but if we give consent for a statistic and allow selection and check our server side here you see that right now the value ascends and the value is z10 this one means analytics storage is allowed and right now if we change another thing from here by saying clicking this icon and if we allow everything and then come back to our server side response and we see that everything is allowed that means the analytics storage is allowed and add storage is allowed or granted so we need to create another variable with this information so in the server side i am going to variables inside the variables we need to create another variable by clicking the new icon we can create a variable name exactly same as our parameter name and from here we need to use our event data and event data key path is exactly this one and we can save it and right now in our tgar we need to implement this value for our analytics storage we can gf4 analytics tags triggers actually this is the trigger for our all ga4 google analytics related tags so we can change it as uh, by clicking we need to apply another condition the condition is when our xga gcs uh, gcs mass and our value if i copy our value this is the value when everything is actually granted but z triple one actually this one z triple one this case is everything is granted but this tag is related to actually this trigger is related to google analytics 
so we don't care about whether this one is one or zero but we need to check when this one is one that case actually we ha we have taken regular expression mass and we can give a dot sign in regular expression dot means anything whether this is zero or one it doesn't matter we can keep uh, the dot and you can save it this way and we also need to change our facebook related that means all marketing related triggers so i am clicking here this is our trigger for our facebook so i am clicking here we need to add another condition and this is the xgcs and we need to choose the mass r is the regular expression z triple one the default value but in this case our targeted parameter is middle one this one this one should be one but it doesn't matter it is one or zero so we can use a dot and we can save it now right now if we go to preview again and i am coming back here and i am going back to my browser preview again and this is connected and right now if i clear everything from here so that we don't have any consent and i am also clearing everything here right now if i give a reload and you see that right now uh, in this position ga4 config tag has fired but this tag actually not sending any data to our google analytics actually this tag is right now responsible for sending data to our server so we are sending this data in our server and if we check the preview in our server we see that this is the page view but you see that no tag fired because of our condition but right now if i give consent for example if i allow all we should expect page view tag should fire and if we check here we see that still none of the tag is fired although we have proper value if i go to check variable g top g triple one but i saw that this is a problem but i uh, i know i'm not sure what's the wrong here because this case you see that this condition is not mess our trigger but this case our condition is perfectly okay but still i see that the ps view request don't send i see that this only sent to gf4 client this is our previous page view ga4 client actually uh, i need to check the tag this is the tag actually you see that no tag has fired this case also no tag fired although we have proper con everything is perfectly okay i saw this problem i'm not sure why this is maybe when in the same page server side uh, two time it does not count page view and does not send information maybe this is the reason so we still need to some things here so we can send a another page view so in the tag i am creating a new tag page view on consent Get. or we can give it as fast base view something like this and from the tech configuration we can choose our tech this is of course the effort tech because we are going to send a custom page view event uh, from here we can select the google analytics gf4 event and the measurement id i have already have a constant for measurement id and here our tag uh, even name should be page view and i can save it and of course we need to select a trigger the right trigger is first time cookie consent update all pages and we can save this thing as well as we can remove uh, we can change our ga4 view item from here actually ga4 uh, config from here 
and right now we have manually sending the page view information so for the first page we don't need this one and we can save it this way and if we again go to preview here and in the side i am again clearing the cookie so that we don't have any concern and again i'm clearing everything and if i reload the page again also i like to clear everything from this side and see right now we don't have any concern you see that no tag actual gfo tag has fired because we are not blocking this tag but in the our server side you see this is the page view but no tag has fired but right now if we give consent for market statistic and allow selection and going back to our server side you see that right now we see only gfo tag has fired but facebook conversion api does not fire and now if we again clear the thing clear from here just clear consent and reload the page and right now again we don't have any concern and right now you, uh, you see this is the page view but no tag has fired but in this case if we choose the marketing allow and allow selection this case we should see that our page view has sent to facebook conversion api tag has fired but google analytics gfo tag does not fire. and again if we clear every cookie here and reload the page and clearing everything here as well as i like to clear everything so that i can show you everything clearly and again if we allow everything and this case we should see uh, that uh, both tag has fired so this is the settings for uh, settings for google analytics server side that means that if you have a server side tagging in your setup and if we again show the thing for example if i come here and clear everything here and reload the page and if we give consent for only the statistic and allow selection and this is my home page you see that the page view only page view that means you for tag only fire and if we go to internal page everywhere you don't see only gfo related tag will fire but no marketing tag will be fired and everywhere you see that everywhere that tag is gfo no this tag does not fire if i go to the single product page and this is everything is this is actually page view and still we see that this is the view item right now we still see that only our ga4 ga4 tag has fired in server side but facebook or if if we have any other marketing related tag that would not be fired so this is the setup for server side tagging and this is all for this series i know that uh, this video is actually the cookie concern is very confusing but if you do and practice everything hope everything will be clear to you and if you have any question or anything you found that is uh, actually my mistake then you can let me know i can update my video and i can give you answer if you have any question or recommendation you are always welcome to write down in the comment below as well as i highly recommend to subscribe my channel for getting this kind of video more quickly it is all for now have a good day